with ease. You see his face with that one. It was almost with an eye roll with that finger roll. Must be nice. Silencer. Silencer in this gym. Four and eight Jacobs, only a six footer, is making Levy Bannon look small out there. That's just pure work ethic. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. That was pretty. That was pretty. That was a pretty way to end that end that run there. 14-3 Valley Toro. This is a close game, Lauren. I don't think a lot of people were expecting that. I mean, it's 14 seed versus 6 seed. But, I mean, Fuchs staying in this game. Good basketball. Yeah. Wow, storybook ending there. Good pass.
Viator looks like they've gone to a man, and honestly, I think it's a better call for them. The zone gives, gives Ms. Fuchs their only opportunity to hit a three, but if you're denying that three with a man high, they're not going to drive hard. Nate Jacobs all over this game right now. For sure. Senior playing. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Now you're damn, baby. I'm still going to do it again. Oh, can I just do it? If it's 22, I call dibs. Fine. It was a good practice round, though. The senior guard playing what is his last game, presumably, in the Fuchs Mizrahi jersey, just giving his all. Another tough layup. Nate Jacobs, there he is again. Thank you. 
Yeah, I mean, shoot or shoot the ball, and I mean, he's been letting it fall, and it's been going in for him, so. Gotta take a win yet while you're hot, you know? Yep, just like that, this has opened up. Thai uh, Toy's been hitting shots. Fuchs has been playing a little solo ball. But now as I move that ball. Get ready for five days of some of the best basketball of your life at the second annual year of the Ready to Ball League Camp. Join us in Teaneck, New Jersey at the end of June or in the five towns at the end of August. We're going to have Ryan Terrell be our head trainer for the second straight year alongside other amazing coaches and featured athletes like McDonald's All-American Dylan Harper. Use the promo code SARACHECK25 to get $25 off your registration and I look forward to seeing you this upcoming summer. Maturity levels there, they're locked in the whole time, so it, it's it's a really good environment to get better. Arona Cohen didn't look at anyone but himself. Well, the best part about this is seeing these kids, how badly they want, how much better, how badly they want to get better. The older kids are realizing, like, if you want to play at a high level, you got to really work. Hashem gives us six days of the week to say, work your butt off, and I'm going to give you a day to rest. So until then, we're going to bust our butt and deserve and earn our Shabbos this week. Focus, lock in, let's go. The Jacobs Parrots must be on fire, seeing their two kids absolutely tearing up this game right now. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the new style of the game. I mean, guys like Steph Curry have really changed this game for kids. I mean, we can see it in March Madness with Jack Onkel in Oakland. I mean, the dude hit, hit two mid-range shots all year. I mean, that just goes to show you. Who's got to fall? Who's got to fall? Huge wants to stay in this game.
They're gonna go for a last shot here. And I fell in love with basketball when I was 12 years old. Well, let me take you back to the beginning of Step It Up. A kid with hoop dreams. In seventh grade, played middle school ball, played high school ball. I wanted to be a Division I player. My friends were cynical about it. My teacher at school, my head of school, the dream became a reality. And this little kid from Boca Raton, Florida, I ended up finding myself in Madison Square Garden. That only fueled more and more, and the dream became bigger. I transferred to Brandeis University in Boston, where I played two more years, before moving to Israel, playing a year of pro ball. And at 25 years old, two years later, I started stepping up. At the time, a basketball private training company. Remember the first session I ran, I was driving home and I just had goosebumps. I felt something. I said, this is it. And from that private training session, we grew more private trainings in a day camp where kids got better in a five-day program. So I said to myself, if kids are getting better in an hour and getting better in a week, let's start a sleepaway camp. Let's take them for six to eight weeks. It can make a real shift in their mind, a shift in their soul and their perspective. And that's what we did. I sit here with you 12 years later in 2023. We started with one kid in 2009. This summer, we're fortunate enough to host over 430 campers from 20 states and 10 countries. When I first started Step It Up, the intention was to run a high-end skill development camp. Little did I know, it would evolve into a life skills camp disguised as a basketball camp whose core principles are the same principles that I not only grew up on, but still live by to this day. Open heart, open mind. If you come in with the right attitude and you open your heart and mind, we can make tremendous progress. Attention to detail, on the court and off. Live passionately, because what else is there? The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it all the way. Action above all. Don't talk about it, be about it. Experiences over materialism. It lasts much longer and it's more real. Good breeds good. Be good to yourself and be good to one another. Game speed, game life. We train with a focus and intensity on the court, which turns practice into a game and the game into a practice. We work hard, we play hard, we step it up. These principles are beyond basketball. We use basketball as a vehicle for growth and success. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. Countless number of middle school and high school MVPs. Over 60 college players, division one, two, and three. Professional players, national team players, a EuroLeague Rookie of the Year, an NBA draft pick, and over 5,000 families, all of whom have stepped it up. We have a love for the game, timeless principles that guide us, a state-of-the-art campus, engaged coaches. We have the results. The choice is simple. It's time to step it up.
Thousands worldwide choose Israel for their gap year. Massah has opportunities for interning, studying, volunteering, and exploring throughout the country. Doing an internship on gap year, I learned all these skills that no kid who hasn't gone to uni is supposed to know yet. My experience at Massah learning about Judaism and Israel is going to help me take those values into my future, into college, and then bring them into the rest of my life. Now, more than ever, this is your time to explore Israel, explore who you are on your Massah gap Happier. What happens at a typical day at RTB? You show up and you hear an awesome schmooze for 30 minutes by Rabbi Avi Rosalimsky and Ryan Terrell about a Jewish topic related to basketball. After that, you come into the gym for three hours of skill-focused training. Each hour is 55 minutes of training and then a five-minute break. Within the hour, we focus on one specific area of your game, and over the course of five days, we touch on all areas. To cap off the day, you have one league game, and then you go home after an awesome day at RTB. See, that's asking a lot, so you got to pick your battles there. And Fuchs, I mean, just keep playing their game that they were playing the first. Well, as why you and Stern College Stars over the past 12 years. There are programs for boys and girls grades 4 through 12, including 1 to 7 league options for both the U.S. and Israel. Additionally, there, there are three many on a day, learning groups, and a camp rabbi. Past campers include many Yeshiva League MVPs, over 60 college players, and an NBA draft pick. For more information, email, email office at campsteppedup.com. Call 888-600-0908 or visit timestepitup.com. So what did you see in the first half? I think Valley Tour was able to move the ball with ease. They were able to find their shots that they wanted and they were falling, I think. I think Fuchs has got to deny that as much as they possibly can to deny that fast break opportunity, to deny the ability for them to just move the ball with ease. I think if Fuchs wants to stay in this game, they got to keep working with Nate Jacobs. I mean, the kid's playing his last game, senior year, in a Fuchs Mizrahi jersey. I can speak on experience on a senior, on a senior level. It's an emotional game. You want to play with everything, and he is. Yeah. And they got to keep looking to him for those big plays. Yeah. As Heisman could not get a three to go, so Gally will get it. As See, that can't happen. Ali Hyen dreams a three all the way from up top.
Gorfinkel, also a senior for the Mayhem, gets it to Sam Lifschutz. Gorfinkel, Lifschutz, and Nate Jacobs are the three seniors on Ukes as they're gonna as they're playing their last game to ever in a Mayhem jersey. And Nate Jacobs, nice move Butter. again. Butter. Has 12 points in the day. He must be Butter because he's on a roll there, Lauren. No, he's doing, he's, man, he's just been playing, giving it 110% like he said As to Hantub, can't get that drive to go as Lady Bannon gets the put back. You know, I've been talking about a lot of Nate Jacobs here, but Lady Bannon, also senior, also playing his last game here, Valley Torah. 6-6, six, six. I mean, he's just such a huge pre pre uh, presence in the paint as he picks up yet another rebound. The seniors for the Wolfpack are Lady Bannon, Ariella Kahantib, Ethan List, number three, he's gotten in a little bit, at Gabriel Bebo, who just hit a three for his 17th point of the, ga point of the game, uh, Ellie Hyen, Alad Radaye and Aethan Sadik uh, Snagan. So they are a lot more senior heavy. Jacobs gets a post fade to go. And it'll be a 14 point game. Rebebo, baseline pass. drive, jump, can't get to that to go. Jacobs, three pointer, no good. Grabbed by Lifschutz. Three pointer from Detkovic is now is no good, and Bannon will have will have it yet another board. Rebibo kicks it out to Radaye in the corner. Radaye no good, grabbed by Gorfinkel. Ori Gorfinkel, a 5'9 senior from Cleveland. Fuchs, Gorfinkel, Nate. As Nate gets fouled by, I think that was Rebibo. You know, and you might hate this call here, but Nate Jacobs playing this game is kind of reminding me of like, like Kobe's at Sal's last game ever. Yeah. Played the whole game, took whatever yeah. shot he wanted. And honestly, killed Had 60 it. 60 points. No, I, I wish I was at that game. He was actually Nifter. I found out he was Nifter at my brother's bar mitzvah. Uh, uh, talk about an anticlimactic bar it mitzvah. Was, it was a very anticlimactic bar mitzvah. No simcha dancing after that. No. Just set to hill him the whole time. Yeah. As Mayor Dan checks in for Ellie Hyen. Air ball by Fuchs. Want to receive Sarah Check news and updates and get close game alerts? Join our WhatsApp groups. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. As Valley is up 48-34 with 4-12 left to go as Gabe Rebibo, Rebibo gets fouled and uh, will head to the line to shoot two. We'd also like to thank Chopsticks for being a proud Chop, proud Max Live sponsor. For the best Chinese food in Teaneck, you've got to go to Chopsticks. Head to ChopsticksUSA.com to order online. That is C-H-O-P-S-T-I-X-U-S-A.com to order online. The link is in the description of this video. As Rebibo hits both of his free throws. Moshe Jacobs has it. Gets it to Gabe Katz off the sixth defender, so it'll be Valley, to Valley Tora ball. Man, that sixth defender is just a very unique fe feature to the Maxton Athletic Center. It's like it's like a post in hockey. That's it's the defense's it's, best friend. It's, li it's, li it's, it's my best friend as a goalie. I love the post as. Mayor Dan gets a mid-range jumper to go. Sorry, not Dan, that was Radaye. Katz has it, drives, guarded by Kahantan. Moshe, Moshe Jacobs drives and gets that to go one. and the foul. Good work by Moshe Jacobs That's and he'll head to layup. the line to shoot, convert the potential three-point play. It's a tough layup from the freshman there. I play him better in basketball here in just his first year with Fuchs. As Gabriel Getkovich checks in for Kobe Morocco for Fuchs. 
as Moshe converts the end one. And so it'll be a 15 point game. Rabibo, drive, jumper, good. Nice pull up jumper by Rabibo. Moshe Jacobs, a three pointer, and he gets that one to go. Woo! That's 16 points for Moshe Jacobs on the day. That's one way to keep your team in the game. Rabibo, can't get that jumper to go, grabbed by Nate. Nate Jacobs to Katz. Katz can't hit that layup, but he gets fouled by Mayor Dan, so he'll shoot, the, so he'll head to the line. Just a reminder that all Sierra Trek play, games that are played at Yeshiva University will be broadcast on MaxLive.com and on the MaxLive YouTube channel. Subscribe to MaxLive on YouTube and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single Sierra Trek broadcast. As Gabe Katz hits the first free throw, Mayor Dan and Alad Radai come out for the Wolfpack. Hyun and Eitan Sedagan come back in. Uh, Kazriel Levine checks in for the first time of the second half. And Gabe Katz is also checking it out for Alicia, Alicia Pizem. Uh, Kaz took, Kaz Levine uh, took Kobe Morocco. So now he just cut the deficit to 12. 2.30 left in the third quarter. And that's stolen by Gekovic, but he cannot corral that, so it'll stay by, so it'll stay with Valley Toro with 16 left to shoot. 2.32 left in the third quarter. Magarefte has it by the wing, loses it, picked up by Kaz Levine. Big steal by Moshe Jacobs. He's doing everything on both sides of the court. Yeah, Nate Jacobs. Kicks it out to Pizem. Three-pointer off the rim. Picked up by Kahantib. Now Rebibo, guarded by Moshe and by Pizem, double teamed. Pizem forces the steal. Good work by Fuchs defensively to just completely shut down Rebibo. Moshe Jacobs finds Kaz Levine in the paint. Kicks out to Pizem. Pizem has it. Nate Jacobs, corner three, hits that one. So now all of a sudden, Fuchs is crawling back in, cutting the deficit to nine points. Just like that, they knew they were never out of it. No, the never say die Fuchs Mizrahi mayhem. Magarefti, corner three, no good. Corralled by Rabibo, and he gets fouled by, are they gonna call that on Pizem or Jacobs? Nate Jacobs. Nate Jacobs. Nick Jacobs. His second foul of the game. As Sam Lifschutz and Kobe Morocco look to check back in for the mayhem. <laughs> Taking uh, Gekovic and Moshe Jacobs. So Dagan just came back in for uh, who was it? I think it was Dan. No, it wasn't Dan. It was... No, it was Dan. It was Dan. Gabe Rabibo leading the Valley Tour Wolfpack with 23 points on the night. With one... As he hits both of them. Both free throws. Morocco. Nate Jacobs has it, being guarded by Sedagan. And that corner three is no good by Morocco. Nice save by Hyen to keep it in for the Wolfpack. Kahantib double teamed. Now Magadekte stolen, but Alicia Pizem is going to get called for the foul. Radaye. Uh, is checking back in for the Wolfpack, taking Ben Magarefti and Pizem and Kaz Levine are also just checked out for the mayhem for Gorfinkel and Gabe Katz as Rabibo just gets called for the walk there. With 
43 seconds left in this third quarter. Deuce got to change something on defense if they want to get back into this yeah. game. Too many double teams. That's what I've been seeing. As an errant pass by Gorfinkel goes off of Lichert's fingers and just a bad turnover. You can't do that if you want to stay in this game for if you're the Mayhem. Valley Tora has the ball left. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. 15 left in the game clock. High end has it. I think they're just going to hold here. Five seconds on the shot clock. Rabibo tries to heave it up. Can't get that one, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Uh, they'll just let the clock run out. No, they're not going to let the clock run out as the Mayhem will get the ball with 3.1 left in the quarter. <laughs> Gabe Katz has it to Nate Jacobs. Fake set off, no good as Valley Tora takes a 56-45 lead over Mizrahi, heading into the fourth quarter. Setting it to commercial. What happens at a typical day at RTB? You show up and you hear an awesome schmooze for 30 minutes by Rabbi Avi Rosalimsky and Ryan Terrell about the Jewish topic related to basketball. After that, you come into the gym for three hours of skill-focused training. Each hour is 55 minutes of training and then a five-minute break. Within the hour, we focus on one specific area of your game, and over the course of five days, we touch on all areas. To cap off the day, you have one league game, and then you go home after an awesome day at RTV. Thousands worldwide choose Israel for their gap year. Massah has opportunities for interning, studying, volunteering, and exploring throughout the country. Doing an internship on gap year, I learned all these skills that no kid who hasn't gone to uni is supposed to know yet. My experience at Massah learning about Judaism and Israel is going to help me take those values into my future, into college, and then bring them into the rest of my life. Now, more than ever, this is your time to explore Israel, explore who you are on your Massah gap year. Year. There are a few things in this world that are bigger than basketball, but I need to ask a special favor of everybody watching this game. Go to the description of this YouTube video and click on the OU link. Complete the form to send a le letter to President Biden. We need to put pressure on the White House to intervene in the hostage si situation in Gaza. The OU will be delivering 180,000 signed letters to the White House on Wednesday next week. In two days. Click on the link in the description of this video and fill out the form. Thank you so much. As Fuchs gets the ball to start the fourth quarter, as Gabe Katz drains a three, and he'll just make it an eight, and he just made it an eight-point game. So now, so now the Wolfpack have it. Rabibo, back to Kahantip, Kahantip to Radaye, Radaye double teamed, as Kobe Morocco intercepts it for the Wolf, for the for the Mayhem. Moshe to Nate, and Nate puts that layup in. So now we just found ourselves in a seven point game. Rabibo gets that one to go. Nice long Hail Mary, got him to go. Shots are falling for Fuchs now. Hopefully they can keep that going, and this might be a ball game down the stretch. Oh yeah, nice feed by Gorfinkel to get, to get it to Nate Jacobs. Drives to the basket and gets fouled, so Jacobs will get, will head to line to shoot two. We'd also like to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Life sponsor. For the, be for the best barbecue and grill in Teaneck, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBarbecue.com to order. The link is in the description of this video. As Nate Jacobs hits the first free throw, and he does not get the second one to go, clanks off the rim. As Gabe Katz checks out, Gabriel Gekovic comes back in. Kahanta gets it to Rabibo. Rabibo corner three. Back iron. Nate Jacobs comes up with it. Nate to Gorfinkel to Moshe. 
Moshe three is good. Look at that arch. Look at that arch. The Jacobs have combined for 39 points as Valley Tora has made it, or as Fuchs has made it, a 58-54 game, cutting the deficit to four points with six and a half left to go. We have ourselves a game. Like I said, Lord, Fuchs have to hit some shots and they have to turn up on defense. That's exactly what they're, new, they're doing right now. As Rabiba gets that one to clank in off the rim. How many? Gave Rabiba 27 points. Pies him, three, no good. Rabibo comes up with it. Kahantam hands it off to Rabibo. Back to Rabibo by the wing. Rabibo, wing three, in and out. Nate comes up with it. Nate to Gorfinkel. Gorfinkel hands it off to Jacob. Moshe Jacobs drives, gets that one off the rim. High end comes up with it. Taking bad shots like that now. No, that's that's not a, that was not a good start, shot selection. So now that ball goes off of Gabriel Bebo's foot. So the ball, so it'll stay with the Wolfpack with 18 seconds left to shoot. 527 left in the game. The Wolfpack lead the mayhem by a score of 60 to 54. Contra on the inbound. Bebo down low, can't that one to go. Three pointer by Bannon, no good. But Rebebo will be called for the loose ball foul. So it'll be Wolfpack ball. Timeout by Fuchs, we'll send it to commercial. So the Mayhem start with the ball here after the loose ball foul on Gabe Rebebo, trailing by a score of 60 to 54 with 519 left in the game. Also want to remind you that for behind the scenes pictures and content that you won't find anywhere else, be sure to follow at Max Live on Instagram and Twitter. As Pizem corner three off the rim and Pizem will get called for the loose ball on Bannon. So Pizem takes his second of the game and it'll end up with, uh, with Wolfpack. Five minutes left. Six point ball game, still going here, still going. It's very much a game for either team. Rebebo has it inside, takes it out to a wide open Radaye, who can't get that one to go, clanks off the back iron and that'll be a jump ball. It'll stay with the Wolfpack with 4.43 left in the game. You need to capitalize those chances. Six needs to squeeze that rebound. You're getting lucky with a wide open three miss like that. As Pizem gets called for his third personal on Gabriel Bebo, or his, yeah, his third. Yeah, Pizem didn't like that call, but I'll be honest with you, I thought that was blatant as day. Yeah. Kahanta. Bebo, wide open corner three, off back iron. And Nate Jacobs will pick it up. Jacobs drives in, finds Gekovic. Gekovic at the wing. Gets it stolen by Bannon. Bannon gets fouled.
by Gekovic. Also want to remind you that Sarachek has arrived and Max Live is home for the tournament. Watch games, news, stats, and more at maxlive.com. M-A-C-S-L-I-V-E.com. Maxlive.com, your home for the Red Sarachek tournament. We gotta get a little song to that, like the Mickey Mouse song. M-A-C-K-S-L-I-V-E. Yeah. Yeah. Who's sad? Yeah. We'll have to get Zebby on that for next year. And Magarefte? No, not Magarefte. High end to Radaye. Bannon. High end. Has it. 18 left to shoot. As we just hit the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. Kahantip, corner three. Off the rim. Radaye comes with the offensive rebound. And Rabibo cannot Great get that defense. one to go. Good defense by the Mayhem as Nate Jacobs comes, comes up with the rebound. God, I get a bucket here. Don't force. Moshe, three-pointer. In and out. Right by, Baron, by Bannon. Chucks it up to Rabibo, but Rabibo cannot save it from going out of bounds. Okay. So, it'll, so the ball will go back to the Mayhem with 3.32 left. Still a 60-54 to 54 game. Both, Both teams are forcing the, mayhem, the ball. But they're, it's looking very forced now. It's not, they just need to, both teams need to settle down as Nate Jacobs nails a three. And now it's a one possession game. 23 points for the kid on his, on his last game ever in a Fuchs jersey. Can't hate that. Can't ask for a better showing out of him. Wolfpack tried to let it roll. Bannon. To Radaye. Radaye hits that quarter three. Nothing but net. Radaye Tar has just been matching it at every point of this game. Yeah. Gekovic hands it off to Nate. Nate to Moshe. Corner three from Gekovic. Off the rim. Rabibo comes up with the rebound. Hantip. 2.30 left, Big steal. Jacobs with the steal. Nate Jacobs picks it up. Back to Pizem, to Moshe. Moshe hands it off. Gorfinkel, three, bang! Oh. Valley Tora only has a three point lead now in Fuchs. As the Fuchs fans are all just going nuts right now. A packed, in a packed stadium. If you will. The die three. Need this no. Point game, Valley leads Fuchs by a score of 63 to 62. Kahatab gets it to Radaye. Radaye, watched by Gorfinkel. Back to, back to Kahatab. Great D by Gekovic. Bannon, oh, big block block. by Moshe Jacobs. Nate comes up with it. What a rejection by Moshe, the kid. Moshe, three pointer. Oh. Fuchs takes the two point lead with a minute 15 left. 
crowd is buzzing here in NYU. As Fuchs has come back all the way from an 18 point deficit. As Bannon gets fouled by Alicia Pizem. Pizem's just finding himself in foul trouble now. He's got his fourth foul. 55.6 left as Levy Bannon, 6'6 six, six forward, senior, can potentially tie it up. Bannon, off the rim. Can't have that, that's a big miss in big minutes. As Gabe Katz comes in for the mayhem, taking out Gekovic. Interesting substitution in my opinion. I think Gekovic has looked really good the past few minutes. Some really good defense, but I trust Leo Schwartz, or I trust Zach Katz here. As Bannon gets that one to go, and it'll be a one point game. Gorfinkel. So how do you think they're gonna, how do you think Valley's gonna play it here? I think they got time and they know it. They, they got do have time. One point game. You know, you play a little more aggressive on that D, but like, if you see to run this clock, they know that, you're gonna get last shot, you're gonna go somewhere. 10 seconds left to shoot. Pies him, three, off the rim. They needed that, they needed that. Big rebound for Kahantab. Kahantab, 20 seconds left. Shot clock unplugged. As the Wolfpack will take a timeout. Coach was not seconds happy with left. that. Coach Lior Schwartzberg was not happy that Ellie Hyen called that timeout. But I don't hate the move. Reset, readjust, get the shot you want with 15 seconds left. Talk it out. Unfortunately, I think he's a little upset because I don't think he wants Fuchs to be able to get a game plan off without wasting one themselves. The real question is, what is Valley Tour going to do? Are they going to go for a last second? Or are they going to and end this game here, or are they gonna just try and get points on the board? I think they just gotta get points They gotta on get the points on the board, they're down one. Down one, you just gotta get points on the yeah. board. You gotta, you gotta live to fight another day, basically another possession. And I think their D's been shut down for long enough that they can do this. We'd also like to thank all of our sponsors. If you'd like to become a Max Live sponsor, email us at yumaxlive at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram or Twitter at maxlive. Shot clock is unplugged. Need to stop here, obviously. But needs to be set off. Kahanta with the inbound. Right down low to Bannon. Bannon puts it up. No good. As whoo, it goes off of the Fuchs. And it'll stay with Valley Tora with 9.5 seconds left to shoot. Wow. Talk about getting some jitters right now. I'm feeling queasy in the stomach, just nervous for these kids. Oh, great oh, pick. Oh, great inbound by Kahanta to Levy Bannon. Four seconds left. Was that a timeout or a foul? Foul. Foul. What as, a great backdoor Valley pick. What a great backdoor pick. Off ball, love it, easy lay. Yeah. Don't think they were expecting it. Yeah. Fuchs only needs two points here. I don't know what they're gonna do here. They could easily, they could look Jacobs, either of them, honestly. Got to imagine that's your two options. Yeah. Your inbounder's probably someone go at Gore you, go, you give it, give it to Nate Jacobs. That's what they gotta do. Let the kid take the last shot. Yeah. He deserves it. Play with his heart out all, all game. I don't think he's come out once this game. No. Uh, so, Fuchs will have the ball with 2.7 left on the clock. Down by a score of one. All he needs to do is get two right here.
after this game. After this game ends, be sure to stay tuned for the Yachad postgame show as Nate Jacobs gets fouled with 1.7 seconds left. After the game ends, be sure to stay tuned for the Yachad postgame show as we will be interviewing the stars of the game. Corfinkel, Corfinkel puts up the three. No good. Valley wins. Valley comes up. Valley finishes third in tier two. As we will be sure to stay tuned for the Yachad postgame show. And we will send it to commercial. We've come a long way, haven't we? Chalk it up to maturity over time. Because this time, we will not be silent. This time, we will stand strong and proud. This time, we will hold our ground. This time, they'll never stop me from being me. Clipped, show who you are. Gabriel Bebo, Eli Hayen, Ariel Kahantib, and Alad Radaye. Saul, take it away. All right, we are here with Valley Tora, tier two, third place winners. Ariel here, we're gonna switch it up a little. Ariel here has got the questions for our boy Rebebo with 27 and 12, double double, not a big deal. Ariel, take it away. Um, Gabe, you had an amazing season, amazing uh, tournament. What are your What are your thoughts on uh, Tier Two Third Place? Uh, tier Two Third Place, not what we came here for, but it's what happened, and we we did what we did. You know, can't go back. You know, big weekend for you all around. Very exciting things for this future program. What are your thoughts on the season as a whole? Uh, the season didn't go how we wanted it to, but. It was fun, we, we played hard, we played together, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. There you go, thank you boys. Enjoy, safe travels back. Shout out Michael! Shout out Ethan List. All right, thank you, Saul. Uh, Valley, beat, Valley beat, beats by a score of 60, uh, 66 to 65. I also just want to remind you that Right, right next to that, up next, we have the Tier 1 third place game where TABC will take on Yeshiva Flatbush. That should be a very fun game. And uh, I also just want to thank everybody who worked the game. I want to thank Executive Director Eitan Traurig, Executive Producer Zevi Panzer, Associate Director David Verviv, Associate Producer Yosef Silver, Director Jared Lazarus, and the camera and our cameramen David Gaffin, Zach Srilovich, and Gavi Aspler, and Peter Osten on stats. All right, signing off. And up next we have KBC versus Flatbush. <laughs> 